All right, Shalom. This is Brother Yawana Thun, the Bada Adawam, coming at you with another lesson through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh Bashim First and foremost, as always, I want to start by giving all praises and glorifications to Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, Bashim Kakurash, the Monster of the Apostles and Elders at Great Mercy and Well, Peace, Love, Salutations to the Hopeful Elect. Throughout the four corners of earth, preaching this word in truth and in sincerity. Shalom. It's going to be a, a real quick video, and it's going to be a heads up through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shah concerning um, persecution. Okay, because um, here it is. You know, I'm looking at this video from about four years ago. Okay, where um, you had HOI. HOI there. Just got you know, um, basically on the Capitol. Um, Condemning those uh, uh, Covington high school students, which are basically uh, mostly Edomite Catholic school or something to that effect. Better. Let me get this commercial out. Hey, it's Dana from StreamYard. I'm so excited to announce that local record. Okay. So I was able to, um, you know, pull this up. Okay. But the point is, um, when I pull up the January 6th, because I remember, I'm not sure if uh, you all can remember too, um, the January 6th, the whole. Um, capital raid which that was all staged that was that was all bullshit you know um they was out there too okay and when i when i um put in the search wait like um right here january 6 hebrew is like let me see let, let, let me try this then capital raid let me see if they'll show them because they was out there hoi was out there again okay and this is going to be part of this demonization that Esau has in his back pocket. Okay, because I, I believe that the spirit, they're going to use that as um when they um get ready to demonize us. That's why I see it's, it's showing nothing. It's not showing um HOI because they was, I remember specifically, they was out there doing that whole fiasco. That was staged back uh, January 6, 2021. And I don't see no videos where they're out there. So I believe, the, the point being, I believe through the spirit, they got it in their back pocket. So when they get ready to bring it out, they're going to blame it on the Hebrew Israelites or the black Hebrew Israelites or the, uh, or the blame for this raid. All right. Which is going to be, I believe, one of the uh, major sources they're going to use, the major slanders they're going to use. Into um, demonizing us, man. Okay, it's gonna they're gonna use it, man. I believe that through the spirit. Okay, so Esau's a, a, a subtile devil, man. Okay, he's a he's a he's a crafty devil. It's like a me. It's like a blackout, an internet blackout on this, man. When, when it comes to them, okay, which they've been trying to black us out for years, man. But the truth has been coming out, like when you had a. Uh, Kanye West on um, Kyrie Irving, you know, they can't stop the truth, man. Okay, now let me get a scripture real quick. I'm gonna close out. I just want to throw that out there, man, because I remember specifically. If you brothers remember, all right, specifically, you can um, feel free to leave a comment. Okay, HOI was out there, which I believe they set up too, man. You know, it's sellouts, you know, and they're doing the bid in the Esau. So, when, like I said, when they get ready to demonizes they're gonna use that man they was out there <clears throat> doing that raid man they were that whole fiasco so this is uh second corinthians and i brought that out at camp sunday this is uh second corinthians 2 and 11 it says at least satan should get an advantage of us right for we are not ignorant of his devices so you know through the spirit yeah, how about you, man? Should I put the spirit on me to, to bring that out? You know, because, you know, we got to peep game in this thing, man. We got to be circumspect and we got to be vigilant as the scriptures um commands us, man. As the Lord commands us. Okay? We got to be vigilant, man. All right? We got we to gotta, um be aware of our surroundings and, 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 and what have you, man. Okay? So we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, which Satan comes from the Hebrew word Shatan, which means adversary. And the physical counterpart is Esau, man, so-called white man. Okay? So, like I said, man, when it comes to January 6th, because, again, specifically, I remember them being out there. All right? When it comes to January 6th, looking it up, you don't see it. You don't see no videos of them being out there. Because Esau, he got that in his back pocket. 
like the devil he is, man. But when you put up, uh, pull up the uh, covenant, when covenant in Hebrew is like, because they, yeah, they, you know, they basically tried to demonize Israel when they did this back 2019. But the January 6th, they, they doing something. I believe the spirit, they doing something special with that. Okay, they're, they put, they've got that in their back pocket, like I said, man. Okay, let me see. Let me play this video. The best thing about Chime is being paid up to two days early. I'm going to get ready to wrap Install up. Install the Chime app today. Attention, did you serve, live, or work at Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune, Fuck North Carolina, motion, between 1953 and 19... 19... New video reveals a more complicated view of an encounter between Kentucky high school students and a Native American elder that triggered nationwide outrage. The incident happened Friday afternoon at the Lincoln Memorial in Washington. The initial video posted on social media appeared to show the group of boys surrounding and taunting Native American activist and military veteran Nathan Phillips. Sure but we're learning there's more to this so than there's the more, video right? showed. Don't you? You little dirty crackers, your day coming. Your day coming. When a radical group of protesters caught radical. black Hebrew Israelites black Hebrew taunted Israelites. the boys within an hour with racist and homophobic You could hear the black Hebrew Israelites the narrative black black shouting things racist things at the white people and they the were white shouting people, racist things. And the white people were shouting racist things back at the black Hebrews. Phillips couldn't be specific about what the boys shouted. And so far, no video evidence has emerged supporting his claims. And another thing, you had no business being out there anyway, man. The scriptures say you preach on the highways and byways, not on some um, private property, especially with, with uh, deals with uh, the government institutions and things like that, man. That's not wise, man. But those guys are clear clearly set up man because if anything they will have to uh move you know esau uh make them move if um that's the case man which it is the case it's pretty much private property but you want to uh keep them out there spewing them uh a uh, so-called racist rhetoric man right it's, um so you would you shouldn't have had allowed them out there but it's clearly set up man all right that was clearly set up for them to be out there you don't supposed to be out there on no uh uh, uh private property like that anyway man and I, I um if i'm not mistaken it's private property you know but the, the scriptures say go out on the highways and um byways and bid them to the marriage man it's not expedient and that's not wise like i said to go out there and, and do that all right so those guys are set up anyway but just to um bring home the point esau's gonna use the of course he's gonna use this and um, like I say, he's gonna use, he's gonna bring out, all right, uh, at the right time, um, them uh, being at the January sixth, being at the January sixth thing, okay, the whole raid they was out there too. He gonna, he gonna wait to the perfect opportunity to bring that out, all right. So it, this is just a heads up video through the spirit, all right. I'm gonna sign out by saying again, all praises and glorifications goes to Yahweh by Shem Yahushua by Shem the amounts of the apostles and elders that great minister on well, peace, love, and salutations to the whole full lake about the four corners of the earth, preaching his word and truth and his sincerity. I'm going to say Shalom, call me out Shalom, and Baba Baba Shalom.